Well, welcome back. We have had beautiful and just incredible photos being submitted by our weather watchers, you guys. And, uh, you know, I just feel like a weather watcher is someone who just keeps an eye in the sky for us. Yeah, and I've, you guys both know how much I think of this weather watcher program and all the mm -hmm. pictures that we get submitted every day. You have done a fabulous job, but ever since we Thank started you doing this weather watchers I, I would hear the term certified weather mm -hmm. watcher <laughs> yeah and that is someone who goes through a rigorous training we've had a few mm -hmm. we actually had quite a bit last time throughout an, our event and they know everything from like how to track the weather mm -hmm. what to shoot for and so I'm kind of excited that you kind of wanted it well that was the thing is as soon as I heard that there was a certified weather watcher <laughs> I was just like I'm all in on that how do I become a certified weather watcher. And I heard that your training was pretty intense, it right? It was. It was indeed. Monica put me to the test, that's okay. for sure. Well, I'm excited to see it. Let's see. Hey everyone, well I have asked our main anchor Andy Morgan to meet me out here at Buena Vista Park to put him through a rigorous training because he does want to become a certified weather watcher. I'm really excited. Let's see what he's got. Hey Andy, thanks for meeting me. Uh, anything I gotta do to become a <laughs> certified weather watcher. Are you ready? Let's do it. Look, I have my anemometer and everything. Right now it's 91 degrees, not a lot of wind. So anemometers mainly just uh, measure wind, but this one has a cool little thermometer integrated as well. Anna who? <laughs> anemometer. Anemometer. Yeah, that's gonna be on the quiz. There is wind. Yeah. You got the little thing spinning right there. What does it say? 2.9 miles per hour. All right, you are learning how to use this thing now. Well, Andy, I told you there was going to be a quiz, so get to studying. Uh, we're going to talk all about what certified weather watchers need to know. Unlike our certified weather watcher training, Andy, if you get them wrong, well, you're just going to have to pay for that. I have to know all this? All right, well, for those of you who attended our certified weather watcher training, there was no test and there was no rigorous training for it. But Andy, our main anchor, he's ready for it. What is the number one deadliest natural disaster, Andy? Tornadoes. Wrong. Give me 10. <sighs> All right, what clouds produce lightning? The puffy ones. You're not wrong, but you're not right. Give me another 10. <sighs> Nine. 10. All right, Andy. If you get this one wrong, you give me three more laps. You ready? So what are the ingredients we need for a thunderstorm to form? Heat, huh? moisture, energy in the atmosphere. Oh, wow, okay, yes. That's three? Yeah. Puffy clouds? <laughs> You're so close! Three laps. The answer's lift. You need a trigger. Lift. Hey, Andy, how was that? We're getting there. Okay. We're getting there. I'm close. I have faith in you. I'm, I'm going to give closer. you a lightning round of questions. Are you ready? Ready. I have faith in you. Here we go. Uh, turn around, don't. Drown. Uh, when thunder roars. Head indoors. What clouds create lightning? Cumulus. And what is the number one deadliest natural disaster? Flooding. Great. Bonus question. What is this? An uh, anemometer. <laughs> you did it. I'm certified? Yes, you're certified. Finally. Finally, I've been waiting a long time for this. Trust me. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, to make Andy. it official, Andy, I got you a certificate and everything. You're now a certified weather watcher. Welcome Yay. to the club. Welcome to the club, huh? Yeah. This is great, Monica. Yeah. Thank you very much. So. It was a lot of it was a lot of hard work. <laughs> no, but you did amazing. Totally, totally worth it, though. He is now a certified yeah. weather watcher, and he took a really cool photo. That's what I was going to say. He is very committed <laughs> to taking these photos. You are. Yeah. I, I, got, I, got, I always tell you I got the eye for it, you right? You do. There, there's, mm -hmm. there's certain key elements to it. Yeah. And there's a lot more to it, as Monica pointed out in that uh, certification. Yeah, so you're next, Natasha. We'll right, have to I'm think ready. about how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, check it out. First time ever, I want to show you our certified weather watcher, Andy Morgan. He was able to uh, take this beautiful sunset photo in West El Paso. Gorgeous shot, great job.